Hey, um, something a bit different today on the channel. I know it's almost exclusively on the whistle videos at this point, but for those of you who are interested, I wanted to tell you a bit about my book. If you're not interested, feel free to click off, go on something else, whatever YouTube's pop up, probably cat videos, something like that. Um, you're welcome to depart. But if you have any kernel of curiosity, do stick around. Basically, I've written a book and I've been plugging it everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, podcasts. And I suddenly thought, oh, I've got all those YouTube subscribers and I've barely even mentioned it to them. And who knows, there might be one or two of you out there with some passing interest. So some of you will know already, alongside covering football, um, I've sort of got another career path where I do acting and comedy and writing. And through that, I've written this book. It was originally a one-man show, a live one-man comedy show I did in 2019 called The Boxer. And off the back of that, I got asked to adapt it into a book. Um, and I said yes. And uh, that was sort of a mixed blessing because the show was an hour long and the audiobook of the book is nine hours long. So it was quite an extensive process sort of filling it out to, to make for a hardback book, but I have done, and here it is. It's called The Champ and the Chump. Um, there's the champ, and I'm the chump in this relationship. What it's about, well, the champ is a man called Terry Downs. He is my grandfather, my mum's dad, and he was a professional boxer and a world champion no less, in 1961. He fought Sugar Ray Robinson. He had big fights on both sides of the Atlantic. He was a, a Cockney who served in the US Marines, then returned to the UK, turned pro, and had this fantastic career. And I knew him, I knew him well. He died in 2017, we were very close, but because he was this massive high achiever, this overtly masculine figure, incredible sportsman, hugely charismatic, very handsome, excellent eyesight. I've always felt full head of hair. I've always felt somewhat inferior, I think. You know, as proud as I was of him, I always had that sense of, well, how am I ever gonna live up to that kind of legacy? And the book is kind of a dual memoir, really. It's his story and my story in tandem. And it's about my experience of growing up in a family feeling quite different to the people around me. Um, and, and, and feeling a bit inadequate too, maybe even somewhat emasculated in uh, some respects. And I think a lot of people will identify with that. You know, most of our parents' generation, certainly our grandparents' generation, were just tougher than they were. You know, some of them lived through a world war. They came from more trying circumstances. They had it harder. And I can only speak for myself, but you know, I've had a relatively comfortable existence in comparison. And I owe so much of that to the people who came before. So it's about me reckoning with that. And in order to try and get closer to him, to feel what he felt, I put myself through some of the trials he faced. So, you know, he was a boxer. I embark on some boxing training. Spoiler alert, it does not go well. He was a US Marine, so I put myself through an, an SAS boot camp. Uh, again, spoiler alert, it does not go well, but hopefully with a sort of entertaining consequences anyway for the book, because it is, you know, a book hopefully full of laughs and full of anecdotes of stupid things that I've done in my life. Um, and mainly accidents, skiing into trees, you know, slicing my eyelid open by coming off a bike, absolutely idiotic things. Um, and it's also a bit of a document of the time before I wrote it. After Terry died in 2017, I had an experience myself where I picked up a kind of neurological illness, something that left me sort of not really trusting my body, you know, already feeling like I'm not exactly a perfect specimen, uh, certainly not in sporting terms anyway. Then kind of my brain started to fail me. I, I lost faith in my faculties and that was a very trying experience. And I think made me feel pretty down, pretty depressed. And I 
kind of had to rebuild a bit from there and the book goes into detail about that. But I don't want you to think it's uh, too much of a downer. It's really quite lighthearted and ultimately it's a bit of a redemption arc. It's a comeback story, like a lot of the box best boxing stories are. You know, uh, like Rocky is in the movie, like Muhammad Ali was in real life after he was stripped of his title. I think that's the reason boxing narratives are so compelling to us because they have that redemptive arc because they are so often about coming back, fighting back, about standing up, getting back on your two feet when you don't necessarily know if you can. And that's, I think, you know, what the book's really about. But there's a lot in there about me being a fat little kid and being terrible at sport and the time I went on a French exchange and tried to talk to French girls and it went appallingly. It's a lot of just stupid anecdotes from my life. Um, and coupled with Terry's sort of rags to riches, amazing fairy tale. So yeah, I don't think you need to be a boxing fan. I think if you're a fan of me, it will definitely help. If you're not a fan of me, why are you watching this video? And why have you come this far? Then watch the cats. I've told you, there's gonna be videos of cats everywhere you can look. Cute little fluffy ones playing with each other. Brilliant, do it. But if you are interested at all, I'm gonna stick the links in the description or whatever. Like I say, it's called The Champ and the Chump. You can get it off Amazon and other evil places. If you're in America, uh, you can get it. There's a link, I'll put it in the links below. You can get free PMP free postage and packaging to the USA. Um, it's through, who's it through? Come on, James. It's through bookdepository.com, but I'll stick that link below as well. And there's an audio book. If the five minutes or so of this video isn't enough to sate you, there is an audio book with nine hours of me doing this book. And I do all the voices including a regrettable Jamie Carragher impression. But listen, no pressure, but I think you might like it. If you do, if you be, read it or listen to it and you enjoy it, let me know. Always glad to hear from, from you guys. And if you don't, go for it. That's absolutely fine. And I'll chat to you, maybe not after the Burnley game, because I'm sort of going on holiday. Should be abroad for that. Who remembers abroad? Not me. Right. Thanks for sort of hearing me out. And um, I'll speak to you all soon. So there you go. Champ and the Chump. Lots of people on here saying it's good. James A. Caster. Rob Beckett says it's good. Greg Jenner. Uh, Josh Widdicombe. They've all recommended it. It must be funny. I haven't paid these guys to say that. It's legit. Right. Thanks, guys.